class. So much to be grateful for and thankful for. And again, we just thank God for each and every one. Uh, of course, I'll open a prayer. I'll actually evangelist on so she can open up with uh, opening prayer. And Sister Maxine, uh, my God, I'm you looking at Sister Maxine. Maxine. <laughs> I'm looking. Right. In, she's in. Praise the Lord, Sister Maxine. <laughs> she's in. I'm, oh my God. I just God. unmuted you, Sister Maxine. <laughs> she's in. Oh my God. But praise the Lord. Can you see? Can you see him? Oh my. Yeah, yes, I can. Oh. <laughs> Great. Okay. Look at the picture. Oh. It's so Perfect. good. Oh, Perfect. All right. Sister so I'm going to mute you back, okay? And I'll. I'll... All right. <laughs> in a minute oh my god awesome awesome <laughs> awesome my god so yeah so evangelist arms open up a prayer and this is a maxine that order but before we get started that song i will fight my you know i fight my this, I is, lost, how I this fight is how i fight my battle and if you see and i love that because of course it always reminds me of elijah when I, for us when he was when they were uh, when he was up there and he was with his servant and and uh, the servant came out and and he was like oh my ma master master you know it was like <laughs> You know, he he realized he's that you know he's seen all these soldiers you know, all around him, but but then the Elijah had to ask him, Lord, open up his eyes, open up his eyes that he may see, my God, that is more with him with us. Glory to God! And when the Lord opened his eyes, he was able to see that we were surrounded. The the, the, the actual all of all of all the uh, for us, the enemies were surrounded by the Lord's host. Glory to God, my God. So I love it. Every time I look, when I listen to the song, I love, I enjoy it, but it makes me go right back to what Elijah, oh my God. So when you feel like you're surrounded, but God is surrounded, God, is, God has us surrounded. Glory to God. Oh my God. So again, we thank God for allowing us to come together. Thank God for all that's been said and done. At this time, I'm going to turn it to hands of Evangelist Owens. And then we have Sister, Ma Sister Maxine come in. Oh, praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise, praise the, Lord. the Lord again. Praise the Lord. Amen. God is good. His mercy yes, endure forever. I like that background over there. I see Moses in the house. <laughs> <Y 'all right>. Yes. <laughs> Moses in the house. <laughs> Lord. God is good. God is good. Yes, he is. I, I bless all of you. I give honor to Pastor P, Lady P, to all who don't the line, and to Maxine. Glad to have you in this form. You you come on the line, but we're glad to have you in this form. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes. God is good. Yes, amen. Is. Amen. Um, are there any prayer requests before we um, go to the throne of grace? Any prayer requests? Uh, it's a lot going on, yeah, I tell you. It's yeah, a lot keep, going on. Yeah, I think it, everybody just say that, you know? Absolutely. It is truly oh, a lot yes. going on. Yes. But I'm going to tell you, God is doing something too. Mm -hmm. Whatever you're doing in this season, Lord, right. don't do it without me. Yes. Don't do it without me. Yes. Don't do it without any of us, because guess what? We all need to be included in the blessings of the Lord. Because guess what? While things are going on and, and acting crazy, God is yet blessed. Yes, Father is. God, in the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. Lord, we bless you today. We bless you because you're good and your mercy endure forever. Yes, we thank you because you have afforded us this avenue to come to thee. Lord, you have given us this access to approach your throne. Being such a holy God, you have not diminished in any of your holiness god so when we come to your throne it's just mercy yes. it's your grace yes. it's because of your blood that you have given us this space to even communicate with you god yes. we say thank you thank we don't you. take anything lightly god it is you that have kept us yes. you are our keeper you are our shade upon our right hand god though the the arrows are flying through people though people are dropping Oh my gosh, so much is going on in our world with the economy, just trying to cope, just trying to even find some form of normalness. God, some people are wondering what is normal now, but God, our yeah. peace is in you. Yeah. God, we thank yeah. you because you thank said you. your peace you give and your peace you leave. You left peace and then you gave peace. Yeah. God, we yeah. thank you for thank the you peace you peace. left. And we mow over, thank you for the peace you gave. Yeah. You said, my peace, I give mm, unto you. Yeah, God, we yeah. have your peace, not peace just like yours. We have your peace. Yes. God, we say thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Your peace. Yes. Oh, glory to God. 
Hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. It's a prime time for the saints. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, I'm all shined out. We're coming to you with this praise. Yes. Sir. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God, I'm all shined out. Because your word told us, though the earth be removed. Yes. Hallelujah. Though mountains be removed into the sea, there is a river. All right. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, you're all shined there is a river. Yes. You are a substance, oh yes. God. You are the one we're planted by. The river of living water. Hallelujah. And you've been our substance. Yes. You've been our sustainer. Yes. Hey, God. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You've been the lifter of our heads. Yes. Hallelujah. God, we say thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you Jesus. Jesus. Thank you. In spite of it all. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We still have joy. Yes. In spite of it all. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 This is commonly for us. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise is what we do. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Glory. you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Who we are. Yes. Thank hey. you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Battles were won through a praise. Yes. Oh, God, heads were lifted through a praise. Yes. Hallelujah. I Thank you, Jesus. Praise. God, we thank you. Praise is of God the rebuke to Satan. Yes. So we stop right now to give you praise. Yes. Thank, you, thank, you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yes, we praise you, God. Because yes. you're doing something right now. Yes. While we're speaking, God. You said while we're yet speaking, yes. you are here. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're touching somebody's body right now. Yes, in, the name, in the name of, the name of, of Jesus. You're opening some doors right now. Yeah, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You're making ways for somebody right, right, now. Now. right, right now. now. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're giving favor. Hallelujah. Right, right now. now. Right yes, now. In yes. the name of Jesus. Yes. God, we thank you for the favor. Yes. God, your goodness and mercy yes. has been following us. Yes. Your hand has been guiding us. Yes. Hallelujah. Your blood has been covering us. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. We can't help but to win. We can't help but to succeed. Because mm. goodness and mercy are following us. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lead and guide us. Yes. And yes. your blood covers us yes. hey. thank you so jesus we succeed. Yes. so we win so yes. we are successful so we are mighty hey god we are mighty yes ah, we stand as a mighty army of god yes because we win glory. We have the lord. hallelujah the lord of hosts yes. he is our god yes. hallelujah yes. thank glory. you jesus hallelujah. The lord of the hosts lord of host. is God. Yes. He's our God. Yes. He's our God. Yes. 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 Oh. Our God is God. Yes. So we win. Yes. So we succeed. Yes. So we make Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's already sought out. For mm -hmm. us to make it. Yes. Hey, come on, Shonda. He meant for us to make it. Yes. He saved us to make it. To make he it. saved make us it. to be saved. Yes. Saved us from the wrath to come. Yes. Saved. Saved. To be saved. Mm -hmm. God, we bless you today. Yes. We're counting our benefits, oh God. Every you load us up with benefits. Yes. Oh God, we're looking at the benefits, God. Yes. Just being on your side. Yes. Just to know you, Jesus. Yes. Everybody don't know who Jesus is. Mm -hmm. God, we thank you thank for you. the privilege to know you. The yes. privilege to call on your name. Yes. The privilege to have your spirit. You yes. trusted us with your Holy Ghost. And Lord. God, we want to make you proud.
proud of us. We yes. want to make you happy. You gave it to us, God. We don't want to shame the gospel in Lord. no way, form, or fashion. Lord. Oh, God, Glory. help us to walk Glory. circumspectly before you, God. Yes, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whoever is in need, God, you know the needs on this line. Yes. Oh, God, in this Zoom, you know the needs, God. Meet yes. the needs, God, in this service. We're in service. We yes. may be on Zoom, but we're in service. Hallelujah. <laughs> Service of the Lord, yes. and God, we're at your service. Yes. God, whatever you want, God, we're at your service. Yes. Your will be done God, oh. in us as it is in heaven. Oh, God, bless each and every one in a special way. Bless our teacher, God. Yes. Oh, God, give them what to say. Amen. Give us hearts to receive as well as ears to hear. Oh, God, bless our pastor and first lady in a special way. <laughs> give them added strength, God. They need some more strength, God. Hallelujah. Elmo Shanda. I need some more strength right Hallelujah. now. In the name of the Jesus, name God, of we Jesus. bless you because you are yes. our strength. The yes. joy of the Lord is our strength. Yes. So, God, we praise you. Yes. Oh, God, and let the joy flow, God, like a river. Yes. Oh, God, let it refresh us. Yes. Let the word refresh yes. us. Yes. Yes. Give us a new attitude. Revive us again. Yes, yes. Lord. Give us a newness in our spirit. God. Yes, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Give us a refreshing. Yes. Oh, God, we bless you tonight. And we thank you for each and every one on this line, those that are to come. God, meet the need. Yes. And for this, we say thank you. Thank and by you, faith, you. we receive it by yes. faith. No, no, so no, we're no. thanking you in advance. Thank in thank Jesus' you, name, for thank your glory. Amen and amen. 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 Thank you. 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 Thank you, Jesus. God, God. I'm going to be reading Psalms 100. Amen. One through five. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, yes. all ye land. Yes. Serve the Lord with gladness. Yes. Come before his presence with singing. Yes. Know he that the Lord, he is good. God. Yes. It is he that harms, has made us yes. and not we ourselves. Yes. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving yes. and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto, yes. unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth and do it for all generations. Praise God. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Beautiful, Praise God. Beautiful scripture. Beautiful prayer. My God. My God. All right, Sister Maxine. That's scripture. Glory to God. My God. My God. Psalms 100. Oh, Lord. Thank God for, again, for the word of God. Thank God for the beautiful, awesome prayer. At this time, we have one more selection. Then we can go into the, to the, our lesson, into the word of God. Glory to God. Come on, sing your worship for me this moment. Oh, yes.
God. Glory to God. Beautiful, beautiful song. Waymaker. Glory to God. So saints of God, again, we thank God for the, for the songs. Thank God for the prayer. Thank God for all that's been said and done already. I'm going to try to open up my share my screen. And, uh, and, uh, and you guys be patient with me because, you know, it's been a little while since we, uh, since we had to be able to utilize this particular function. Is everyone able to see it? Praise the Lord. Is everyone able to see it? Yeah. Yes, we see it. You're able to see it. Great, great, great. Yeah, I can see it. Great, great. Okay. Well, again, thank God, like I say, for all for for each and every one. Um, I would be long before you tonight. This is this is uh for um this particular um lesson is coming out of song the song of solomon uh we have uh, this is one book i know sometimes we we kind of might you might go through uh slightly uh, not as much as maybe some of the other books but this particular but we're going to see that this particular song of solomon is, is it was kind of like a a songs for and poems um and to help marriages um but it's but it's uh, but it was but it's a very uh, it's an excellent excellent book but we're going to see that for us, the relationship in this particular in Song of Solomon. We're going to see how the relationship was so important for Solomon and this young woman, how much they love each other uh, so much. And then we're going to uh, we're going to see for us, uh, even the young lady for us, they had she has some things going on. But the love was there um, and, and, and it's coming out of it's Song of Solomon. But it, our verse, excuse me, it's, it's the second chapter verse 15 which is a very familiar verse and we and we have said we have quoted it from time to time but it's and it's in the, in the actual verse it says take up uh, the second chapter verse 15 take us the foxes take us the foxes the little foxes that spoil the vines for our vines have tender grapes Glory to God, my God, and we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna see where, where this, you know, for us, where this particular scripture and where, like I said, you know, what the, the, uh, the meaning of it, uh, context and everything, and we're gonna see that for us in this particular area. I'm gonna go to the, um, is, but our lesson, our lesson, uh, the, if you see it on the, on the screen, it says it's the small foxes that you got to watch out for. Glory to God. And so, and this is what we're going to see for us in this passage and, and for us in, and, and with this particular verse, how it is so important to us, even though they were, they were so much in love and, and they was having a beautiful relationship. But when it came down to this verse, um, this is take us the foxes, take them up. Uh, glory to God that, that spoil the vines for our vines have tender grapes. And so here it is right, right at the time when they were enjoying themselves and for us uh, courting each other and getting ready for marriage and, and for us. And so everything was wonderful. Everything was going on great. And so here it is, it's, it's, uh, we send out, you know, right here it is when they enjoy themselves and then, you know, they have to worry about a, a little small foxes coming in. Uh, glory to God. And, and here we're gonna see about these little small foxes and we have a few scriptures that's going to point to who these foxes are and what they do, and if, and allows us to see uh, even in our lesson we're going to we're going to, we're going to at some point we'll be able to see uh, what are they what are these small foxes and uh, what do they where do they come to, what do they come to do. Um, also, where do they come from and how do I get rid of them? Glory to God. It's nothing lucky or you, you see something, but what do you do when you see them? Glory to God. And that's what this, that's what, uh, allowed us to be able as a lesson, uh, goes on. And I, and the thing is, Lord knows I was rushing around today. I was trying to get some different things taken care of. And so I have X amount of slides to go through. So I, hopefully I have enough to, uh, to, to carry the lesson, but you'll see. If, and if not, if, if not we we'll just we'll just pick up you know but but it, but we're we gonna uh, whatever the lord gives me I, 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 you know that's what we're gonna go over tonight but again i thank god because like i say this is very important because just like here for everything was going great for 
uh, this this young woman and for Solomon. And it shows right here, if you, if you still look it up, it says Song of Solomon is a wedding song honoring marriages. And so this relationship that was between a young Shudamite woman and King Solomon who loved each other. And like I was saying earlier for us, here it is at right at the height, you know, when they when they loving each other, they had a beautiful late relationship. Then here comes, oh my God, someone wants to come in and trying to nibble at something here and trying to uh, bring bring it bring uh, separation, bring it down. But I, but I thought about for as Elijah again. Uh, for us, when after he had did, he, Elijah had when he had fought against all, you know, against all the all the prophets, and how he destroyed all the prophets, and then after that, she figured here's a man of God that was on a high, and then all of a sudden he just like he went from a high to a low. Glory to God, just that fast, you know, you know, he, he find himself hiding. Glory to God. And he, one minute he was on top of the world. He was, God was giving him power and strength to, to, uh, to do what was needed to do. Then the next minute he was, he was basically running from Jezebel. Glory to God, my God. But, but again, for us, here it is, like I say, in this passage here, it's the Song of Solomon. They were, they had the, the love of, they were doing very, very good. They were doing great. And so, but at the same time, this is a, is a time where when you are in that point, when when God is blessing you, God is doing this for you, God is doing that for you, you have to keep your eyes open because the Bible tells us to watch and pray. And it makes all the sense in the world why we can't just we can't just lay down and, and, and figure what we got it made. And, and, and because as soon as we as soon as we are able to relax, so to speak, relax. Then that's when the enemy will tries to come in and, and, and any kind of way he can. He don't care how he gets in. He don't care who he uses to try to get in. But the thing is, if we, we have to be constantly on watch because he's always trying to find a gap. And this is what we like to say for us, how even though this particular passage is talking about a, a, a romantic relationship and a wedding of a, of a young man, a young woman and a man uh, with a Solomon, but yet it's showing for us that because they had to keep that relationship in hand, it was something that they had to do. They had to stop for a minute and repair something or take care of something in, the, in order for the relationship to continue on the way it is. And, and even though they talk about, even though they relationships between them, but our relationship between us and God, glory to God. You know, so we have to, and that's, and that's how we look at it. Whereas even though the, this relationship was between Solomon and this woman, but we at the same time look at the relationship between us and God, glory to God, how, uh, how the enemy will again would try to come in and want to nibble at it, to take down everything that he has been built up glory to god it, things that we value hallelujah things that we value he don't value glory to god and, and even even in the scripture it says take us the foxes the little foxes that spoil the vines for our vines have tender grapes glory to god and so and, and our grapes our grapes is like our character glory to god our grapes is like our character. And so we have to be very, you know, for, uh, that's why I was saying we have to be very careful because we, because we don't want anything to take down the character that God has given us. Glory to God. If we work too, ah, oh my God, we work too hard. How oh, glory to God to give what God has given us. Glory. First of all, it wasn't us. It was God that was, that, that gave it to us. And the scripture again is coming out of Song of Solomon. Second chapter, verse 15, verse 15. And again, that scripture says, take us the foxes, the little foxes that spoil the vine for our vines have tender grapes, glory to God. And so, so here it is um, in, in, this, in this passage here, if I can do it, <laughs> I'm moving around here. Go back here. There we go. So again, like I say, so even though, like I say, so we're we're getting only thing I'm right I'm doing right now is just giving you an over, overview of for us, just a kind of an introduction, basically for us, where bringing us into what the Song of Solomon and where this particular passage is going, what are the players in here, and then we're going to see that even though for us they're talking about the Shulamite woman uh, and then Solomon, but also her brothers was in this as well. And even though here it is, they got this romantic relationship going on, 
but and and as doing some research, it didn't say verbatim, verbatim, but it was talking about that when I was researching that it took the brothers um, who owns this, who brother who who was work who who leased this vineyard. Solomon was the owner of this vineyard, and that's how and and Solomon that's how Solomon ended up noticing her. But but it was Solomon's vineyard, and he leased it like he's like leasing so so to speak, leased it out to uh, her brother to her to her to a mother, and so the brothers was had was uh, was the ones that was uh, was leasing it as well. But the Shudamite woman, which is the young woman, she was the one that was doing a lot of the work in the actual vineyard and we're going to see for us how this young woman would work so hard that even she worked so hard in the sun that her 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 color she, it was a it was dark skin but it's still because of love of, of solomon it didn't matter if she was dark skin or whatever he just loved her and so even though even though uh she was dark skin and for uh, and, and and she felt insecure about her dark skin, but Solomon yet loved her. Glory, but that's where the dark skin because she was because she was working in the in the vineyard herself. It was almost like when you was reading when I was reading, I was uh, going through. It was like they kind of the brothers kind of made her work out in the vineyard instead of I, I'm like made her. It's like my God, but the brothers didn't want to get out there. But she was the one that was out there doing a lot of the work. But but again, Solomon noticed her, and they end up they end up having a romantic um, relationship, and they end up getting married. But again, it's even though, like I say, it's talking about the relationship between them, but we keep it in mind the relationship that we have between between us and God. Glory to God. And again, that's a relationship that we don't want to tamper with. We don't want nothing to uh, to try to come in and 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 uh, and, and attack it or or nibble away at it. And this is where we headed in this lesson. So it says here. Um, Again, for as a young woman was a little insecure of her dark skin compared to other women from Jerusalem who had fair skin. She worked in a vineyard in the hot sun, which is owned by Solomon. I explained that just a minute ago. And so that's how she was, that's how she got her dark skin. But again, she was insecure about it. But, and I'm gonna let you know that little foxes, say it's the small foxes that you gotta watch out for. And we're going to see for us, what are they? And we're going to see that small foxes, there could be a lot of small foxes that tries to nibble away at your character, nibble away at you to make you stop you from doing what you need to do for the Lord. There's a lot of little small foxes and, you, and, it, and it starts off even right here when the young, the young lady was insecure of her dark skin. So insecure. Here it is. So the enemy can take anything, something that that we might, even though it's not a sin, but she's insecure about something. And, it's, and so it can turn around. It can affect your character. It can affect on how you if because if what happens is you give it, you can start giving it more and more attention and then it can start off affecting you glory to god and so here it is uh so that's even one just something right there that's like I said small foxes that you have to watch out for and so the young woman was a little, was a little secure and I say again that was her, a dark skin compared to other women from jerusalem who had fair skin she worked in a vineyard and in the hot sun which was owned again by solomon and then it says in the process of enjoying each other's company and their relationship the woman was told by her brothers, and here it is because sometime here you are in a romantic, you know, relationship, you're enjoying each other, lo loving on each other, just for his, you know, and this is that that was the setting that they had for Song of Solomon for these two. They was in, it was enjoying each other's company, and so here it is in the process of enjoying each other's company and their relationship. The young woman, the young woman was told by her brothers. In chapter in, in the second chapter, which one we reading in verse fifteen? That's exactly one. Take up the foxes, the little foxes that spoil the vines. For our vines have tender grapes. Now this is very important right here. Sometimes we can be so caught up here and there. 
that we might not be able to see what's happening on that's what's happening we because here it is just like i was telling you earlier one of the things that she was insecure but it takes some sometimes it takes someone from the outside to be able to let you you know because you not because you not recognize it it might take someone from the outside to say you know what this is i, I noticed that you're doing this i noticed that you're doing that and before the person would say, "Ah, oh, you know what? You're right. You're right. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't, didn't even realize it, you know. And so here it is. It can be, and that, and because someone was able to rec, uh, point it to, bring it to our attention, and show, show that, that person, then they were able. Now they're able to work on it, and then say, and then get over it. But, but here it is. The brothers uh, came and told them of the foxes, the little foxes that was that that was spoiling the vines. And 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 um, that they was that they was going to spoil their vines, and so they, so the brothers had to come in and let them know, and it, and it says here that the young woman went after the brothers, told them the young woman was at the stop, and remove the foxes, before they ruin and destroy the vineyard. So here it is, as, as like I say, that, that's so there was a point where like I say after after she found out. She realized, she recognized, she realized that what I have to do, she stopped. She had to stop and remove the foxes before they ruin and destroy the vineyard. And so, because if not, if, as we know that, 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 that for us, these little small foxes, and again, it's, what are these small foxes? These are, these, you know, they're, they're small, they go unnoticed, they overlooked, they're under, it's almost like they're under the radar because sometimes you don't see them. And you know, small foxes, it can be, and we're going to see for us in scripture for us where there was a few, a few different areas in the scripture where they pointed out what these foxes, what is what is a fox? And they actually came out and told you that's a fox or what the fox does. But but some of the things though for us, what a fox, what are they? It can be people, it could be a person, and it could be the, the enemies, which as we know, it comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Uh, it can be laziness. We talked about the tongue. How James talks about the tongue a little, you know, for us, how how is, how the tongue can it can you know, it can do a world of trouble, you know, for us a world, you know, it can set the world on fire. So the, the tongue itself, on you know, for us, because you heard you heard that statement before, is you know, uh, sticks and stones might break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Glory to God. But I'm gonna tell you, we know, we know, we found out that's not the truth. Words does hurt. Glory to God. And so, so the mouth could be talking and, and doing some things. So the tongue can the tongue can't hurt. You know, if it's used in the wrong way, if it's doing too much of a, uh, it could be doing too much. And so, so again, these are small foxes that things that we that we keep in mind and keeping uh, that to watch out for. So the tongue, the small issues which become a big hindrance. They could be small issues that become a big hindrance. Uh, even negative thoughts, glory to God, uh, jealousy, dishonest, selfishness, um, our small, all little small faults that we consider maybe that somebody maybe said, don't look at, overlook it. But what happens is if it's not dealt with, it gets bigger, glory to God. And so so here it is. Again, we don't want it to affect our character. And this, and it was talking about for us the tender grapes. And we said the tempered grapes, you know, let's look at it as it represents your character. And so that's what that's what the small foxes, they the little small fox, they will spoil the vines for our vines have tender grapes. So they were after those grapes, those tender grapes, your character, glory to God. And anyway, they could try to pull that character down, pull you, pull you, pull you down, uh, glory to God, your reputation down, uh, pull your, 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 uh, integrity down so that way they, they say so way you so that way you they, any way to try to break you your relationship break you down and again it's the same it's, when you look at it it's the same way the enemy comes to kill steal and destroy and these little small foxes by the time they end up that's exactly what they end up doing is they come you know they actually destroy by the time they're finished but that is what are you know so with some what are, what are they and i just gave you a list of some of the small foxes that and a, and a lot of it can go unnoted because it could be so small having you in the, I, I think all of us at some point up, up at, at one time or another that you know you, you it's something that's so small you don't you don't you it's because it's something that's not severely not, not so much this it's devastating or it's, it's not something that's stopping you 
but it's something that's small enough where you know you, you're able to keep going, you're able to keep uh, operating, but is but yet that small thing, that small item, that small fault, it does slowly nip at you. It nip at you, and at some point, if it's not dealt with, it would be before you realize it starts taking over. You now it becomes a bigger hindrance than anything. So, uh, so that's why for us, uh, 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 the small foxes, they have to, once we, once, once we, for us found out what they are, and that is a big part right there, because not only did the set of brothers here, they recognize, see, somebody had to recognize they was in so much of a love affair that, that they didn't see it, but the brothers recognize it. And so that's why I was saying, so sometime when you don't see something, you be in a love, you know, and I, and you got, you know, you enjoying the Lord, you just, and see you, and, and here it is, it's something that's you might not see, but somebody else see, and, but, but, but it has to be recognized. That's a key, and because how can you, you know, how can you identify something if you haven't recognized it? You know, you have to, you have to recognize it first to see what it is, and then once you recognize that it's happening, then you can identify what it is. Glory to God. So a brother was able to recognize that the that the vines that the, the, the uh, they recognized that it was a foxes. Uh, that was spoiling the vines. Glory to God. So they recognize it. So they was able, and they was able to identify who they are and what it is. And then they had to take action and be able to deal with it and do something about it, which they did. Glory to God. So, so that is where uh, a very key, like I say, so recognize it and then being able to identify what for us what it is, so that we, so you can deal with it. And then you we see that once they did that, they had to remove it. Glory to God. So that one, so again, it says here the young, and this is all about the young woman had to stop and remove the foxes before they ruin and destroy the vineyard. Glory to God. And that's when we're able to see things in our life. And I say we're able to recognize and, and we're able to identify and see, then we have to I like to say same way, once we're able to stop and stop and after we recognize it, then we're able to identify it. Now we deal with it to remove it, to get it out of our life. Glory to God, my God, my God. And we're going to see in one, of, in one of our passages that one of the scriptures, how they was able to, uh, not only for as they were pointing out what a fox was doing, but they was able to, uh, it showed in, in, in the scripture for us how they was able to, uh, to actually help get uh, what to do about it. Glory to God. And so this next slide, it says, this passage that we're talking about exemplifies the urgency to recognize, identify, and remove the problem. And I'm sorry, we have a, we have a, we have a, um, we have a comment by Ev Evangelist Owens. Glory to God. Okay. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I was just, I was just thinking about, um, um, Aiken, remember that guy Aiken? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> he was he was one guy, right? Mm, one person. Mm -hmm. One person, and um, yes, it was just it was just kind of crazy how one person can make a difference. When yes. you were talking about the foxes, whether they uh -huh. small or large. That's it. He didn't say a big old lion. He said a small fox. Uh huh. Israel was winning the battle. Yes. And all of a sudden, they just start losing. Uh -huh. And and Joshua went before the Lord and said, "Okay, Lord, what's what's going on here?" Mm -hmm. He had to inquire. You say recognize. Yes. He had to inquire. Yes. And the Lord told him, "There's sin in the camp." Mm -hmm. yes. Now, God could have told him right where the sin is, but God wanted him to do the labor of recognizing, uh -huh. seeking and finding. Yes. Identify. I think you said the word identify too. Yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. God, you know everything. Mm -hmm. yes. You knew who did what, when they did it. You saw everything, but why didn't you just tell him, you know? Mm -hmm. But God told Joshua. Yes. They're sin in the camp. Yes. He 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 had he uh had Joshua, you find it. Uh-huh. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yes. And when he found it, he didn't play with it. Mm -mm, mm -mm. They destroyed Aiken, who had hid some things in his tent that yeah. was forbidden. That's right. God mm -hmm. didn't tell them to do that. He 
had got some of those treasures from the enemy and he hid it. First of all, you don't be taking stuff from the enemy. <laughs> that right. the Lord did you. That's it. And hiding it tells me you already knew you were wrong. I tell mm -hmm. kids all the time, if you got to hide it, you knew you weren't supposed to have you, it. You know you're wrong, yes. We hid it in his tent. Uh -huh. Right? That's it. And thought he was good to go. But when Israel started losing the battle seat, Joshua looked at the outcome. He yeah. wasn't looking at the beginning of what caused it. He was just noticing the change. Mm -hmm. He was aware of the change. All right. The All right. flow of the battle. Uh huh. Yeah. Something's yeah. different. I am. I'm observant. Uh huh. Yes. I know our God. I know He's with us, but something. Something different here. Uh huh. That's it. He, yes. He was observing. Yes. And he sought the Lord, and the Lord said, "Send the camp." Yes. Yes. But God didn't tell him where exactly, who, what, when, where, but He knew His job was to seek it out. Yes. Yes. When you find it, destroy it. Yes. And He not only destroyed Achan, but his whole family. That's it. Burnt his goods, all of it. No trace of it. Got rid of the seed of the sin. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, because why? We talked about small foxes. Well, a, a seed is a small item. Uh huh. That's it. That's right. So if he had a destroyed one thing but left the seed, small item could grow a whole nother tree, right? <laughs> All right. That's right. Mm -hmm. So when they say, uh, you know, when he destroyed Ad, uh, Aiken, I, I feel bad. I'm serious. I feel bad for the wife and the children. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. But yeah. back in the day under the <laughs> law, that's get rid he, of that seed too. That's what Why? Because mm -hmm. the seed is like a small yes. thing yes. that becomes right. that produces a larger thing. Mm -hmm. You can pluck a seed up just planting it. Oh, mm -hmm. I didn't mean to plant that. Put go dig the hole, get the seed out. That's mm -hmm. right. That's right. If it turns into a little sprout, take a little root, turn into a little sprout, mm -hmm. you got time to pluck it up as, as a sprout. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. But if you allow it mm -hmm. to not only take root and sprout, yes, but grow. Glory to God. Yes. So I had to remove that tree we talked about. Y'all remember that tree? Uh -huh. I had to get that tree removed and it was doing some damage, but it started like a little seed, yes. a little sprout. Mm -hmm. But the longer I let it grow, it, 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 it did damage. So now I need some artillery. If the longer we omit, yes, mm -hmm. give it time to grow. Mm -hmm. Well, we could have plucked it up at first. Uh -huh. Now we need some artillery. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Now we need to go and have somebody rent this big old long saw. Mm -hmm. When it when it was small. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know. You see. You see. What That's I'm saying. It. That's exactly. So, but Aiken. We ain't gonna play around with this. Mm -hmm. You and the seed are out of here. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the seed is a small thing. So that's another form of a small fox. Yes, yes. You know, and when they got rid of him, they won the battle. Mm -hmm. So we have to just don't overlook what big or small. Look like it may be small, but it's the production. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. That's thing to be concerned about yes yes and uh, beautiful beautiful and I, I love that because i mean that's you know like you say for us how aiken and it shows how uh how how much one person means uh, we all we talked about last week how it all matters it, everything matters glory to god and here it is you know Aik, aikman like i say for for us what here it is everything that he did it you know mm -hmm. it, 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 it mattered everything and it showed it mattered too because they started loot because he did something that got like evangelist saying he did that some guy that told him told him not to do but he thought he was going to get away with it and gonna call himself trying to hide it and turn around but god seen it all as we you know and turn around they start losing the battles left and right glory to god and so here it is the people people were dying because of what he did Glory to God, and so the, the small, the, the small things that you know that He's taking, and it, but look, look at the, the repercussions from those little things, the small things that He's taking and doing here, but it's causing big, big disasters, big, you know, destroying people, people getting killed, and He ended up getting His whole family killed for 
some a few items, something mm-hmm. that 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 at, the Lord would gladly give them to him. But he told him that this time, don't take the spoil. Glory to God. And then I think about for us too, the Amalekites, when they was told to destroy the Amalekites. And what happened? They came back to bite them. Glory to God. Every time the Lord told them to do something and they didn't do it, and it came back to bite them. And, it, and you know, because the Amalekites, and now as we, because we know the story about how, the, you know, they ended up coming back and they, and David had to deal with them as well. And, and so, and so it, it, it's, so, and all of it started for, they're supposed to have gotten rid of, uh, you know, and then back, back when the Lord told them to, he said, wipe them out, but they did, but they didn't do it. And it came back to bite them. So, so you're absolutely right to seed. And so, so it's the small foxes, the small foxes that we, again, we have to watch out for. And so I was, and so, early, and so, so, it, so it does matter for us, uh, the, you know, for us, how we have to be able to recognize and to identify. And once we're able to recognize uh, when the Lord brings some to us and recognize it, identify it, and then it says remove the problem, and that's exactly what happened to Aikman. They had to remove the problem. Why? Before it destroys uh, them any further. Glory to God, because they because they it, it because they lost battles because of it. Glory to God. But once they was able to, the uh, for us remove the problem and and. Turn around, they was able to start winning battles again. Glory to God, because the problem was was taken out, was removed. But it removed the problem before it destroys a person and his relationship with the one they love. Glory to God. In this case, they were talking about it. We know that we was talking about for us, for us a young woman and Solomon. But we again we we are looking at, like I say, for us our love for, for the Lord and how he can so it, we don't want nothing to uh in, infiltrate or or, or 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 find a leak or any type of gap or anything in our love and our closeness with the Lord. Uh we don't want to so we want if anything, we want to be tighter, a tighter relationship, not allow anything to nibble away to cause any gap or any any hindrance at all and says the bible gives us scriptures of speaking about foxes and i was telling you about that early uh, judges 15 uh it shows us about samson uh glory to god we know the story about samson and but this was uh, this particular one here samson uh, was he tied torches to 300 foxes and released them to destroy the grain field of the philistines now he, Samson was so mad that because his because his father in law gave gave um, to be gave his wife gave his wife over to someone else, and so he, and then so Samson was so upset and so mad, uh, he turned around and took three hundred uh, they foxes. He tied torches to three hundred foxes, and then returned around and released them to destroy the grain fields of the Philistines. Which, of course, after he did that, now the Philistines is like retaliate. Now they mad. They coming back trying to find out why did why did Samson do what he did? And so, of course, you know, Sam, Samson. So now they coming after Samson. And this is the point where Samson end up killing a thousand uh, of, of their men with the jawbone of a, I'm going to say, a, you know, of, of a mule. But it was a jawbone, a thousand soldiers is what he killed the glory to god but here it shows again for us how in samson this is one of the scriptures it shows how they he was able to use foxes um and, he, and what did these foxes do they were re- he released them and they went and destroyed a grain field of the philistines and so it shows that again these foxes are what they do uh for us uh, they was able they was uh, destroyed and so that was that was the so what what little foxes all again, with these little foxes coming to, when we recognize and we see them, we have to remove them because what are they going to do? They're going to destroy. Glory to God. But this, and that, but in this case, that's how Samson used them. He, he, he tied torches to them, and that sounded like man, that was torches to their tails. He tied, he put two, he put two foxes' tail together, put a torch on them, and three hundred of them on ran them across the field. Oh my God, that's torture, <laughs> Lord to God. But anyway, but the main point behind it is that with the foxes, he used them to destroy, and that's what they were doing. So, and then number two, uh, Nehemiah, we know the story about Nehemiah. That's in the fourth chapter, and uh, we we know that's, that's a very very familiar passage. Uh, fourth chapter and the third verse, and it talks about uh, 
Well, I'm, I'm gonna back it up to verse number one. This is we talking about Sam Ballot and Tobiah. And so here it is. So you're talking about small foxes. Everybody, when I, and I said earlier, when in this love affair between the young woman and Solomon, how everything was going great, how everything was was, was they were enjoying it, their life, their, their 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 relationship, and it, and it took someone to be able to uh, to uh, that recognized that there were foxes that was that was attacking their vines uh, because they was so much involved in everything. But here's again for us, uh, you got. Tobiah and, and Sam Ballad. And here it is in this story, we find that um, they, uh, for as Nehemiah come to re uh, restore the wall, rebuild the wall. And here it is. So everybody, and so you think that's a good thing. You believe that's a good thing. But everybody shows that in this particular passage also, it shows that everybody is not happy of what you're doing. You're doing things that whatever God has you to do that you for us to get to building up the kingdom of God, everybody is not going to be happy. And so here there's a case where right here they were building a wall and re rebuilding the rebuilding it again, restoring it. And you think these men would have been glad, but we see that they are in, in this passage, they wasn't too happy about it and they were ready to tear it down any way they can. So it says, it says in Nehemiah 4 chapter, but it came to pass that when Sam Ballot heard that we built the wall, he was wroth and he took great indignation and mocked the Jews. And he spake before the, his brethren and the army of Samaria and said, what do these feeble Jews? Will they fortify themselves? Will they sacrifice? Will they make an end in a day? Will they revive the stones out of the heaps of the rubbish which are burned? Glory to God. See, they again they didn't they they did not want to see. They, they they couldn't they it's like they did it's like they feeble Jews. They 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 just you know they did not care for them. And then it's like what do they think they're gonna do? But turn around, verse three says, Now Tobiah, the Ammonite, was by him, which he was by. Sam Ballot, and he said, even that which they build, if a fox go up, he shall even break down their stone wall. And this in verse four, this is how a, for a, a response by Nehemiah. Hear, O God, <laughs> for we are despised and turn their reproach upon their own head and give them for a prey in the land of captivity and cover not their iniquity and let not their sin be blotted out from before thee for they have provoked thee to anger before the builders. And then it says in verse six, so built we the wall and all the wall was joined together unto the half thereof for the people had a mind to work. Glory to God. Glory to God. But it but it's but it showed here in that little in that little passage right there for us how to buy, like I said, as he was standing by Sam Ballad and says, look at the wall they are building. Why even a fox could knock down, knock over this pile of stones. So again, this was an area where they show how we're identifying a fox what for us with a fox the small foxes what they can do and here's again it was talking about destroying glory to god so so again the small foxes are ones that we have to in this case of small foxes we talk you see how tobiah and and, and sam ballad and then later on they even added someone else in this you know that came along and that was at, that, that joined in with tobias and sam ballad you see how way that's how when when thing when people are against you a lot of times all of a sudden different and other ones that have come in and join with them glory to god but uh, but it goes back to that song that you know you might feel like you're surrounded but i'm surrounded by god glory to god so you might feel like you're surrounded because of all of these small foxes but uh but but then the bottom line is you are surrounded they don't realize they are surrounded by the host of lift the lord the lord of hosts himself Oh my God. So, so it's the small foxes that you got to watch out for. And Luke 32, 13, 32, it says, Jesus tells the Pharisees, go ye and tell that fox. Uh, I'm, I want to, I want to go to Luke. Let me go to Luke. Cause I want what I'm going to do is I, you don't have to, I'm, I, I just go, go there. And that's Luke uh, 13. And that's verse uh, 30. Uh, it's, it really starts at 31. 
Yeah, and I'll read it for you. Verse 31, it says, The same day there came certain of the Pharisees, saying unto him, Get thee out and depart hence, for Herod will kill thee. Here it is, these, the, uh, these, these, the Pharisees were actually so, like, acting like they were so concerned to, to, uh, to Jesus, telling him that he had to get out because Herod was, was going to kill him. Now, they were, you know, as we know, they they weren't so much worried about they they had worried about what Jesus was going to do, but they weren't so much worried about. But they trying to tell him, you get out of the get out of there, get out of this uh, Jerusalem, get out of this area, and depart here. They wanted him. They didn't want him to go to Jerusalem. Is what they didn't want. It said the same day there came certain other Pharisees saying unto him, Get thee out and depart hence, from Herod will kill thee. And Jesus turned around in verse thirty two said, and he said unto them, Go ye. And tell that fox, <laughs> glory to God, talking about King Herod, tell that fox, behold, I cast out devils and I do cures today and tomorrow. And the third day I shall be perfected. My God, the third day he'll be finished with doing what he want to do. But he says, nevertheless, I must walk today and tomorrow and the day following, for it cannot be that a prophet perish out of Jerusalem. Glory to God. But the, but the actual, yeah, so hear it again. See, Jesus identified this fox right out, right off the, he said, he said right there for us, go tell that fox. You, you go ye and tell that fox. Behold, I cast out, let him know what I, what I came here to do. And, he, and, 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 and Jesus let him know that, and his time was not yet come. So he wasn't worried about you know, Herod, but they're going to come and try to tell him, get out of here before the, Herod come and kill him. But Jesus had to let him know for us, uh, you go tell that fox. So again, there was a case where identifying for us who a fox is in and in, in these different in these different uh, passages. So so it was showing for us how in, and just like in Nehemiah, it shows for us how the Tobias and Sam ballad where foxes come from. We talked eventually evangelists talked about for us Aikman and for the the, the spoil that he did. Uh, we you know so it's all different little foxes, and so Jesus just identified for us. He told, he said, go ye and tell that fox, my God, that which is King Herod, you know, and let him know. So those were, those are way, way um, like I say, so when uh, he was, so again, we have to recognize, identify. And then once we recognize, identify, uh, and then remove the problem before it destroys a person and his relationship. Um, and so, so, so you have to nip it. Get it, take, remove it before it destroys or, or do any destruction. Glory to God. And on the next side, we getting clo close to here. So if we finish up, you know, <laughs> cause I love, but it, but uh, I, you know, because it's not that you know, long. Like oh, pray, oh, I'm sorry, Evangelist. I didn't see you. Go ahead there. I I'm trying to find my the thing to do my uh, my. I'll explain it later. Never mind. Uh, I couldn't couldn't find the emoji to put my hand up. Um, it's. Uh, I wanted to say why you were before you left that point when he when he was talking about go tell that fox. Yeah. Sometimes you got to call the foxes out. Uh huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes, uh, if they're if if the things are not called out, I'm not saying you have to. I'm saying some things come by exposing. Uh -huh. You did say rebuke them open. Uh huh. Yes. So some things got to be called out. And he said, go tell that fox. He's letting them know, I know what you are. Yes. Uh huh. And he's calling it out and yeah. he's doing it with boldness. So it's like, hey, some things you got to call out. Yes. Yes. Some things, because they, they're going to keep going because they can maneuver through people. Uh huh. Or uh, that fox. That the fox can cause, uh, in other words, cause discord because you have once once you didn't started with this one. Next, you know that that same fox then that same spirit of that fox then went through somebody else because you didn't call it out in the first place. Yes, yes. Amen. So sometimes it just to me that felt that this sound like to me he just called he called it out. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes. So yeah, that was that's it. Beautiful, beautiful. That's exact. Yes, yes. And that's what, and that's why I love this. You're absolutely right. Cause he said, go ye and tell that fox. He called him out, let him know exactly. That's right. He called him out and let everybody else know what he is too. <laughs> you know, oh, glory to God. No, that's it. That's it, Evangelist. Sometimes, exactly. That's sometimes when the Lord would have us, you know, if it's something to, uh, 
to uh, so I went letting them know I know that 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 which who you are you know you know you might because they might have that look of you know how I like even a small fox because it can look all cutie and cuddly and this and that but at, but the minute you turn your back he's he's nibbling at you <laughs> nibbling at you but then but then like you say sometimes you're absolutely right it call them out exactly what they are and that's a just that's exactly what Jesus did he called he called him out let him know for us what he is. And so that way, so that way, and, and he had, he said, go tell him too. It wasn't like, you know, we just, you know, for us, uh, you know, uh, uh, that he is that. No, he said, go ye and tell that fox. <laughs> Glory mm-hmm. to God. Yes, yes. So I love it. That's it. You know, so some, that, and that, and that was Jesus himself for us that was telling him, you know, bring, you know, showing him exactly telling the Pharisees who, what King Herod what he was and what he does it. So, and again, foxes are ones, and they're, and they're using the passage here as they use them, are ones that the small fox they destroying. And we see that in, in all these passages, how they are, they are coming and destroying whatever they can. So, so the Lord is allowed them to say, you go tell that fox that they don't want, you know, because, and, 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 and again, if, if for as it allows us to see too, that, a fox is just like uh, the enemy himself. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Glory to God. And we see in, and so it says here, we see in, a, in all these scenarios, the foxes were identified and used to destroy something or someone in each one of those. And so that's exactly, and even in the passage, for as we know, for as in, in, Solo, in Song of Solomon, that's what the foxes were doing. So, so again, it's, it's, it allows us to see what, uh, how they were identified and used to destroy something or someone. And again, also we see that the small foxes that you have to watch out for, um, the small things we overlook, the things we trip up over and keep going. These are small, the small it's those small things we overlook things we trip over and and it's easy something because it's so small you trip over and you keep going things we think doesn't matter i, I gave you a list of those of, of the of the different fox foxes like i said for a, a list of which is so many more than that but it just just giving you for us just a list and but this here just saying that these things we think doesn't matter things the small things that we think doesn't matter it's those small things that we tend to think oh that's so because it's so small and it's not hurting anybody. It's not hurting you at the moment, but it's it, it, because it's not big enough. But if it keeps on going, at some point it will hurt. It will start hurting, and and so that's exactly well what a small fox would do. It would keep going until it destroys what it intended to do. Uh, we have a hand up from Evangelist Owens. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know, I was thinking, I, I keep hearing um, that word destroy. Yes. And, you know, it's that, that word destroy is a serious word. Yes, it is. You yes. know, because yes. when you think of, okay, think of the movies, a destroyer. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's how you can say the word destroy. And then you can say the word destroy. Yes. You know, I'm talking about damage. Yeah, yes. It yes. could be unrepairable. That's if right. It, if the Lord don't step in. That's right. That's right. Yes. I'm talking about disintegrates. You know, you know how they have those movies with the villain, the evil villain come to destroy. Yes, yes. But these things are real. They, the devil don't come just to do one of three. That's right. He wants to do all three. Yes, yes. That's right. Mm-hmm. Every time he yes. comes. Yes. If he's still, he's not done. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He, wants, he to. wants to kill. Yes, yes. Steal your joy. Mm-hmm. Kill your spirit. And then destroy your witness. Yes, yes. So that even after you gone, somebody don't want to take your word for it. You know what I mean? That's right. T- kill, steal, kill, and destroy. Steal, kill, 
it's levels, it's degrees. Yes, yes. Something that can be stolen might can be returned, right? That's right, amen. Mm -hmm. Something that's killed, you know, you, you think it's done away with, but the effects of what they had or were while they lived, mm -hmm. see, he wants to destroy that. Yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? That's right, that's right. Mm -hmm. Still the, the, the spirit, the joy. Mm -hmm. Still the spirit. Uh, 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 I'm sorry, steal the joy. Steal the joy. Kill. Mm -hmm. Kill the person. Yes. And then destroy the witness that they had. That's right. When yeah. they were here. Mm -hmm. he just He's just no good. He doesn't play fair. And anyone to get in the ring with him should not expect him to play fair. He wants to do all three every time. Yes, yes, yes. So if he, if he, uh, was successful in somebody's life to steal their joy just know he's not trying to be done with the joy that's right that's right see he he will come to try to kill that's it. Mm -hmm. and if he if he succeed in killing he's still not done that's right that's right he wants to destroy their effect, their influence, their witness, their mm -hmm. whatever else that was that would follow their life. Yes. yes. Their integrity. You know what I mean? That's right. Is exactly. that have you ever seen somebody to try to blast somebody? Mm -hmm. Tear it on the Because they knew what they knew one on one. Uh huh. That's but they right. couldn't do it one on one. They had to go public. Uh huh. Because the ultimate thing was not just to let them know they knew, but to destroy. Mm -hmm. I need to tell somebody else. I'm going to lie on you. That's not enough. I need to lie to carry. Mm -hmm. I need to lie to travel. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I'm trying to destroy. Mm -hmm. it, th th that's how the enemy thinks. That's the seeds he plant in people that might have started out as a lie and it turned into a destroying fire. Yes, yes, yes. That little tongue, small thing. That's it. Calls a lot. Can, can, can start a, 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 a brush fire. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. A little match, a cigarette butt can create a brush fire. You know? That's it. So That's it's great. it's something. It's something. But that when I hear kept hearing the word destroy, mm -hmm. it it is it's to me it was sounding bigger than just ruin. Right, right. It is. I don't want to just knock something over and break it. You know, that you know, it seemed like it sounds bigger. It Destroyer. <laughs> Maybe I'm thinking of the creators of the universe. You know, not that that uh, he he man. I'm thinking of choice little figures. He man, you know, he could tell you better. <clears throat> but you know, they come to do this. <clears throat> the superheroes come to destroy the evil villain. But the evil villain came to destroy them. They use those words that have emphasis because of the magnitude, magnitude. they want to show or display. Right. That's it. That's that, all. Absolutely. Beautiful, beautiful evangelist. And that and that's exactly the small foxes. That's exactly what they come to do. It, and it's and it starts off so small where you it might go unnoticed, un where you don't see it as much. But at some point it, because it starts growing. I have an example coming up here in a, in a minute here that's going to show how some things can start off so small and then it's, it snowballs. And what happens is when it starts off so small, it, because it gradually happens before you realize it, 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 it took hold of so much. And it's because if you didn't recognize it, and, and then you can find yourself, uh, oh, I, I, my God, you can find yourself living with it and you don't even realize you living with it because it had been with you for so long. Glory to God. And so that's why it, I was saying earlier how sometimes it even takes someone, sometimes when you don't notice it, sometimes it takes someone else from the outside to be able to see. And you said, oh, you didn't even realize that you, that this was happening. And so sometimes it takes someone else because if you don't recognize it, Lord, you know, you, you pray that someone else will recognize it. But I, but but again, uh, evangelists were saying they are after your character. They're after your integrity. They after, they want their bottom line. It wants to destroy you. It wants and destroy is a, a very uh, that is a big, huge word because about that, that's exactly what it comes to do is it wants to destroy you, take you out. And that's and, and the longer it, but it starts off so small 
And at some point it just gobbled and before you realize it, it didn't snowball. So here it is, we're talking about for as a, a few if on one, one number of these things, one through five, with the small things uh, we overlook is, you know, things that we trip over and yet keep going. And it's, and, it, and we have all seen that in whether it's something that we've done or whatever the case might be, it could be small things. And then before you realize if you don't deal with it, it becomes bigger. Um, and how many times we have said, oh, boy, you, a person will say, oh, they sweep stuff under the carpet, you know, and after some point you didn't swept so many things on the carpet, now you're tripping over the carpet. My God, because then it got bigger, you know, it kept, it kept adding up, adding up because you kept sweeping things under the carpet. After some point, you're going, now you trip over it and that, and that might be the thing for you to recognize it. But, but the thing is, is that you, uh, you don't want to get to that point. You want to recognize it, deal with it and identify it, get it out the way, remove it. So you don't, so it don't destroy you. Uh, and so other things that in our talk, we talked about things we think doesn't matter. We talked about that because everything, all of everything matters, but, but you can find yourself these, these little things we think that doesn't matter. Oh, that's okay. And, but no, it's not okay. If, if this is, if it's, if it's, uh, if it's hurting your integrity, it's hurting you, hurting your character. No, it's not good. Uh, it says here, number four, the small foxes nip away until there is none left. And I, I even said here, it reminds me of a termite. You know how termites, when they, 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 if they, if they would nibble, that wood would look just, oh, it looked okay from the outside. And then you go to push that wood or lean on that wood, and that thing then gave way because those termites didn't eat up everything on the inside. And, some, and unless you recognize and seen it, and you before you realize it, your whole roof or your house is ready, your eaves are ready to fall down. And because it, it looks okay from the outside, but they turn around and nibble everything away on the inside. And before you realize, like I say, until you until you either you, rec you recognize, you see them, or you see the, or you recognize the the, the debris that uh, that they have left behind them. And, uh, and so, as, because if you don't recognize it, it will be destroyed. And so it reminds me of the termite, you know, so, you know, it, it just constantly go until it, it's going and, and, and it's going to destroy that house. If a termite gets in the house and if you don't recognize it and if you don't do with some about it, I guarantee it is going to cost is whether well, one or two things, your house is going to fall, something is going to fall or it's going to cost you so much. Glory to God. But see how I just said, it's going to cost you. My God, my God, if we don't get, that's why if we, don't, if we don't nip it, if we don't get rid of it, it costs us. Glory to God. It costs us something. And, and so that's what, it, and that's exactly what happens. It, you know, so that's why we, as we recognize it, uh, identify it and, and recognize it, remove it, get rid of it, uh, because it can cost. It can take away, uh, like, because again, in this case, it comes to do away with your integrity and your character, and it wants to destroy you. Bottom line, they say they spoil, they spoil, uh, the little foxes spoil things of value. In the, in the passage in that particular scripture was talking about the tender grapes. They wanted those grapes. And I said, the grapes here, I'm saying it represents our character. You know, so they didn't, re they don't recognize the value of your character it's just you know and, and then and, you know they just want to their thing is just it, it, to you is valuable but to them they just destroy it because for whatever reason they want to they they don't want to just take you down or take it down but they don't they, the, the 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 little foxes they, they spoil the things of value and of course your character is very valuable and so we're getting ready to get close. And it says, uh, this is that small example I was, I was telling you about. And this was happening for us, actually, and I'm getting ready to end here, but this was happening for us when I was out walking. Uh, you know, Lord, <laughs> the Lord deals with me in different ways, but I was out walking. And as I was walking, I felt something in my shoe. And because it didn't seem so severe enough, to stop me, I kept walking. And I, you know, I'm walking. You feel something in your shoe. Or you feel something, but it wasn't enough to just. It wasn't nothing to uh, so severe to, to to make me stop. So I kept walking. Then I noticed my walk had changed. 
Why? To alleviate the slight pain that I start feeling. Still haven't stopped. But I noticed my walk had changed to alleviate the slight pain I started feeling. Next, this is true. My thinking was also changing for me. Why? To keep going. So, and what I mean by that is that I was able to, for it because here it is as I'm walking, I feel the slight pain. So my mind started, my mind started adjusting, changing. My, my thinking starts was also changing. So I can keep going. It's like I felt, I felt it. Then I, mean, I, I was like, oh, it's not severe enough. I, it's probably it's a, it's a little of this, and then, I, and, you know, you know how you say you just hear people say, "Oh, you mind over matter" or something like that. There, <laughs> and you figure, you okay, I, you know, I just I, I walk a little bit more on the this side of my foot to keep going, and all this time, this isn't a matter of just walking around. Finally, number five, I says I stopped. Finally, I stopped. I said, let me check out and see what's going on here. Like the, the passage was talking about for us, they were enjoying their relationship. It was having a beautiful time. And at some point, the brothers came and told them what was happening. Somebody had to stop and go and check out and see what's happening. Finally, I stopped. And this is the last, the last slide and we're going to be finished. It says time, this is just time by stopping. Now it's time to recognize and identify what's happening here. Because I keep, I, I, you know, I, 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 had, I, I can't keep going the way I'm going. And so I stopped, just like in the past, somebody had to stop and, and recognize and identify, see what's going on. What is it happening here? And it was when I stopped, recognize and identify what's happening. I took off my shoe and found a small pebble, a rock in my shoe, small pebble, small fox, small pebble. I'm saying this because that little small pebble was not enough at the time to stop me, but it did start changing something in me. <laughs> It started changing my walk and my thinking. So if you, my point is here is I'm looking at if you allow the little fox to stick around too long, it starts changing something in you. And it's and instead and, and so it's, so that's why we were saying that about recognizing, identify it, remove it. Because the longer it has with you, the small pebble was not enough at the time to stop me, but it did start changing my walk and my thinking for me to keep going. Verse number nine, number nine, not verse, but number nine. And at some point, it will stop you if it's not dealt with and removed. At some point, but you'd rather stop and deal with it when you recognize it versus let it take you down. It says at some point it will stop you if it's not dealt with and removed. And number 10 is this is what I said, a scary part. This is scary. A scary part I notice is what can happen if it's not dealt with. You'll find yourself adjusting to live a walk with this problem as though it is normal. And that is a scary part because now what you have done was sign over and said that it's okay. And look, and you living with something that you, you have now uh, uh, for us agreed that it's okay. And you allow this thing that it's, 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 it's hindering you and it's nibbling at you. And now what is what's find yourself, you have adjusted to it to live or walk with it as though this is normal. And what is it doing all the same time? It is destroying, it is killing the vine. 
is destroying everything that around. And that is a scary part because now you have allowed yourself to, uh, instead of stopping it, removing it, getting rid of it, you allow it to become a part of your life. And with it, and and it's not a friend of yours because it's trying to destroy you. It's trying to, and that's, and so I was like, oh my God. So that is a scary part. And so uh, it goes back to, that's why after we recognize, so it says here at the end, so you see what happens with the small foxes, if not dealt with and remove, not only can they change, but they can destroy your life. And it's just that small. It's just that, just that. And, it, and the sad part is, it's the small things, those small things. And I gave you a list of them earlier. And it's like I said, so in the forest, and I'm just going to read, a, read that list and then we get ready to dismiss. But that list was again, it, was, it talks about for us people, a person. I said, I put down here self. And the reason why I put down self, because we have insecurities, there's attitudes. We talked about, you know, there's negative thoughts, anger, unforgiveness. This is, you know, these are things. Small, small foxes, laziness. We talked about the, even the evangelist talked about the, the tongue, it's a little member, but it's, it's can do a lot of damage if not control, do a lot of damage. And that's, that's the thing about the Bible says how everything is controlled, but man cannot control the tongue, <laughs> glory to God. So the little tongue, small issues that become a big hindrance. And we said things like jealousy, dishonest, selfishness, all these are little small, all, all different type of small faults that can hinder our walk, that can hinder our relationship with God, that can hinder our growth, that can hinder every, hinder us, period. And so we come to this iron sharp and iron, and that's why we able to, we talk about you bring out these things so that way is so that way it helps us all to help recognize and identify and as we recognize and identify we able to remove them glory to god and and i even said and and, and here we've seen in nehemiah that after nehemiah he's seen it when he after he talked at the heard uh neil uh, neil seen what nehemiah and tobiah was doing but prayer glory to god prayer he turned around and prayed glory to god that to god and after they prayed he turned around they kept on working after after the prayer was made so we know that prayer is always in order to bring it to god even when we can even we can't do any, i don't know what to do about it we take it to god and give it to him and just like nehemiah did he prayed about it and the lord took care of it and handled it for them glory to god so so this is so it's a small foxes that we got to watch out for because they are so small it's the, it's the little things the little things that somebody will say ah that doesn't matter ah you, I, I, no 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 but it, little things grow grow and before you realize it it can turn into a monster glory to god so saints of god like i said i thank god like i said for 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 being patient today but this is but this is a small um, like i said uh, this is a lesson that you know for us even as i was walking i was like you know this gave me just like wow you know just uh some so small can do so much damage and unless you unless you stop and deal with it it can it can it because it, it, it doesn't get better it gets worse and that's what the small foxes do it doesn't they don't turn around and get better it gets worse so again saints of god be blessed uh thank thank you for for your for being with us tonight thank god for all that's been said and done at this time we turn it over to lady p for our announcements and we will get ready to dismiss okay maxine i unmuted you anybody have any um Anything else to say or any questions before I move further?
that's those. It's the, I mean, I just uh, I enjoyed the messages. It is those little things that 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 drive us apart. So it's those little things. We just got to be careful of little slights and things like that. I mean, I enjoyed the lesson. That, that, that's all it is. It's, it's a lot of it is those little things that we don't um, that we we ignore or we or we take for granted that's really causing problems the simplest thing of sometimes it's not what we say it's how we say it it's just little things so i i, I enjoyed the uh class all right thank you amen 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 um for our announcements on saturday uh we will be going to the funeral of elder mayfield and the flyer has been posted everywhere but um i will post another one, um, I will text one out a flyer so that anyone that desires to go, um, you free to do so. Also, I will be sending in um, tomorrow, I will be sending in the um, luncheon donations to BT for their 80th anniversary. Um, I will be sending that, so I'm just letting you know. Um, that that will be going in tomorrow and that was $50 per ticket so that will be going in tomorrow um, and so other than that there are no more announcements at this time turn it back into the hands of the pastor again we thank God for each and everyone that was with us tonight thank God for all that he does what he continues to do he is just, just doing great things and again, we thank God for, for all that's with us tonight and the ones that will come on later. At, at this time, we're getting ready to dismiss. I'm asking Brother Troy if he could dismiss us at this time. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for tonight. Lord, we thank you for this class, Lord. Thank you, we thank you, Lord, for keeping us, Lord. We ask you, Lord, to keep this word in our hearts, Lord. Help us, help us, Lord, to, to be guided by it, Lord. And Lord, also touch Pastor Mayfield's family. Yes. Lord, uh, touch the ones that that are that really are in need of comfort. Lord, we ask Lord that you continue to church church. Lord, give them direction. Lord, on how to handle things. Lord, we give your name the glory and the honor. Lord, continue to strengthen us. Lord, uh, we, Lord, continue to just strengthen us and guide us. Lord, and Lord, Hallelujah, bring back the backsliders. Lord, Hallelujah, those that are gone and. And straight away, Lord, we ask you, Lord, to turn their minds back, Lord, and we give your name the glory, Lord. Those that are seeking the Holy Ghost, Lord, we ask you, Lord, to just touch their minds, Lord, give them a drive yes. to, 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 to keep searching, Lord, to keep, to keep seeking you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord, Hallelujah. we ask you, Lord, to keep their minds focused, yes. to, keep the, 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 to keep the hunger for you live, Lord, to just keep it alive, Lord, and just touch their minds touch their hearts let them know that they're still wanted by you lord help them lord and keep them lord and we give your name the glory hallelujah we give your name the honor lord and we ask you lord to continue to touch lord all our sister churches lord yes lord. Continue to touch their minds lord touch peace apostolic lord touch every other church connected to peace lord yes. lord, we ask you lord to touch that family lord touch bishop swansea's family as a whole yes. lord Keep them in the center of your will, Lord. Don't let them stray, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we give your name the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, our, our, the jobs we have, Lord, you keep us. Yes. Keep us, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 You keep Hallelujah. us focused on our jobs, Lord. Hallelujah. Keep us mindful, Lord. We ask you, Lord, for, for your protect, continued protection, Lord. Hallelujah. To help us, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 To help us not be... Be, be be controlled by fear. Lord, yeah. we ask you, Lord, to just continue. Hallelujah. <laughs> to guide us, Lord, and continue to strengthen us, Lord, to come and give you the glory and the honor, Lord. We continue to thank you, Lord, for meeting us, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we ask you, Lord, to continue. <laughs> Hallelujah. Keep them in the center of your will, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everyone that's coming in, Lord, everyone that's going to come in, Lord, touch their mindset, Lord, keep them focused on you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those that need to be comforted, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. We need you. Yes. Lord, we need you. Yes. Hallelujah, we need you more than yes. that. You've yes. been so good. Yes. You've been so good to us, Lord. Hallelujah, you strengthen us every week, Lord, and we're grateful. Yes, yes. Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, grateful. Jesus. Yes. Thank you, you Jesus. Us together, Lord, and we're grateful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Thank you. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Lord, we give your name the honor, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. We love you. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Continue to touch our, our extended family, Lord. Yes. Continue to touch their minds, Lord. Yes. Continue yes. to Lord. draw them in, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Touch Hallelujah. their bodies, Lord. Touch yes. their hearts. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Give them understanding, Lord, that you yes. are God, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Complete understanding about yes. who you are, Lord. I am. Believe me. Have your Sunday. Have your Sunday. Have your Sunday. Have your Sunday. Have Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Glory to God. God. Glory God. to God. Glory Jesus. to God. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Glory, thank you. Glory, thank you. 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 Glory. 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 Thank you. Glory. Glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Glory. Whatever you're doing in this. Be blessed, saints. Enjoy the rest of your praise night. God, Lord, praise Lord, God. Lord, praise Lord, God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. Glory to God. Be blessed, saints. Hallelujah.
Oh, my God.